Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner of the Rittner Floral School in Boston, Mass. It's a pleasure to welcome you into one of our classrooms today. The theme, St. Patrick's Day. Normally, we associate St. Patrick's Day designing with classical design offerings using, say, green carnations and white palms and so forth. And those are really, really pretty and give great value. But what we'd like to do in today's class is give you an idea of how you can take contemporary styling and use it to come up with something really funky for your table when you're entertaining on St. Patrick's Day or possibly your mantle. You'll notice the container that we have. It is a boat shaped container and it's not a small one by any means. If you notice we've got one about two blocks of foam in there and we're ready to go and we're going to come up with something that's really really cool. First flower we're going to use are Fuji and we've got these incredibly great Fujis that are coming in that really are pretty, they're funky, they're nice and they're a lime green color and they give a really interesting effect and we're going to use our Fujis to extend the shape of our design and notice that by using several of these we're making this even bigger than you'd expect it to be. I'm going to take more of my Fujis and I'm going to start working them into my base and I'm going to play with it. We're going to really enjoy this one. We're going to work some Fujis here and there gradually working them through the design and I'm going to place some facing on this side I'm going to place some of my Fujis over onto the other side of the design and we're going to just gradually work it going across creating a rhythmic flow to our arrangement using some of our Fujis as a way of starting our design and you can see we're really starting to move on this. Now we've got some other very neat things that we're going to play with on our design. How about some of our lilies? And We're going to work some of our white lilies into our mix and I'm going to place a white lily facing right here. I'm going to angle one facing over here towards the center and I'm going to place another one placing it over here over towards the side. So we're mixing some white lilies into this arrangement. We can use just about anything as long as it happens to be white or green to come up with an interesting effect. So let's take a little piece of hydrangea we have some green hydrangea that's coming in. It's coming in so nicely and work it as a focal point in our design. And then let's start playing with some of our Alstroemeria. Alstroemeria are big, they're showy, they come in in nice clusters and we're going to take a few of our Alstroemeria and work some Alstroemeria into our arrangement. And you can see that as I'm gradually adding my flowers to this arrangement how we're gradually getting a greater level of sophistication and also a greater level of visual complexity to our design. I want to add a few more of our Alstroemeria. I'm going to work another one here. One of the advantages of our Alstroemeria is that they do come in in these incredibly great clusters and so I'm going to take advantage of that and use that there and I'm also going to place another cluster over on this side and then maybe a few more of my Alstrom area over onto this side of the design. So notice how where we started with something that was rather open and airy, how this is gradually filling in as we started with our Fujis, played a little with our Lilies, then started to work some of our Alstromerian. I've got a few more Alstromeria. I want to place something over towards the other side of the design over there to come up with an interesting effect and I still have a few more Alstromeria that I'm going to work here and there. Let's work a couple of them right over in here and then perhaps one of them over here so you can see that this is gradually becoming far more complex than we originally thought it was going to be. Now we also happen to have some incredible roses that are coming in in our whites and our greens. I'm going to take a few of my white roses and work a few white roses in through this arrangement. So a white rose here, one over here. Let's take another one of our roses and work it over on this side as well so that we've got some of our roses working into this composition. How about one over onto this side? So you can see my viewer that this design started off very simply but it's gradually becoming more and more visually complex. We do want to make sure that this design is viewable on both sides if we're using it in the context of a table. So I have lots of lilies up here. I'm going to work another one of my lily stems over on this side 
just to make sure that it's facing out well in both directions. Now, at this point, I've got some great button palms. Actually, they're called Athos palms. These are essentially a green palm, and they're absolutely incredible. So I'm going to work a few of these into the design. These are pretty. They add texture. They add color. They continue the green concept on this. And you can see that just by using this combination of materials, just how rich and pretty this design is really taking shape very, very nicely for us. And it's really giving us a really, really neat, very, very neat kind of design. Isn't that something, my viewer? Quick, easy. You can do this kind of thing, too. Now, we could stop at this point. We've got a very, very pretty looking design where we've mixed our Fujis, our Lilies, our Alstroemeria, a few of our roses into it, uh, some of our green palms. We've got a very, very pretty composition. And we could stop at this point very, very nicely. I'm going to do something that some of you are going to like, some of you aren't going to like. But I want to show it to you anyhow, because I think you may find it kind of interesting. Let's start taking some of our kiwi vine. Kiwi vine. Some designers love using some of the branchy materials in their designing. And recently at Rittner's, we've been playing a lot with kiwi vine. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to take some of my kiwi vine, and I'm going to work it in through the arrangement to add another level of visual complexity to the design. So let's work a few of these in here. And notice how this is weaving gradually through the arrangement. I'm going to take another piece of kiwi and work it over onto this side as well. This definitely is saying this is not Dad's St. Patrick's Day design. This is going to be a St. Patrick's Day design that definitely feels 21st century, very, very contemporary. Now, in terms of covering our mechanics, we could use various things to cover our mechanics. I'm choosing a little bit of Spanish moss, Spanish moss, and working a few pieces of Spanish moss here and there into it. Some people have contacted me and said, uh, why do you like using moss in your videos? Well, I want to assure you, I don't have um, a concession on moss or anything. It's just one of many materials. It's considered a little bit more chi-chi, a little bit more contemporary. But we could do this just as easily if we wanted to by using any of our foliages uh, in our uh, design as well. But I'm just taking a little and tucking it in just to kind of finish it off. So you can see, my viewer, we have a very, very contemporary design, a very contemporary design meant for possibly a dining room table, possibly a large mantle. This could be used in an entry area. You see, when we come to St. Patrick's Day, we can do the classical. And there's nothing wrong with the classical. It's absolutely great. But we can also head off in new directions and take some of the trends and approaches that we've been playing with in a lot of our contemporary designing and apply it to even a holiday such as St. Patrick's Day. And the great amount of wonderful materials that come in greens, in whites, enable us to do so many wonderful things. Quick and easy. That's the Rittner Floral School way, quick and easy. Anybody can learn to do floral designing. And at Rittner's Floral School, we take pride in providing a wide range of courses showing from classical to contemporary in floral art. On behalf of all of us here at Rittner's Floral School, we hope that you enjoyed this brief lesson in terms of how to come up with a contemporary piece for St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for coming in and visiting with our classroom. We hope that you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you for many more of these online videos for your enjoyment. On behalf of all of us, I'm Dr. Steve Rittner. Thank you.